Hi everyone, and in this video we're going to look at the structure and function of the heart by looking at the anatomy of the heart itself. So lots of important features to recognise and label. So you need to know the direction of blood flow as it moves through the heart and its associated blood vessels. So things are going to come in groups of fours, four chambers, four valves and four vessels. Okay. So we'll start with the chambers okay. and remember this will be the right side of the heart and this will be your left side, so opposite to your hands. So the two chambers that sit at the top of the heart, those are the atria and the two at the bottom are the ventricles. So right atria, left atria, right ventricle and left ventricle. So blood will return from the body tissues via the vena cava into the right atrium. At the same time, blood will be returning from the lungs via the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Okay. So both of these chambers will fill at the same time. So blood comes back from the body tissues, same time it comes back from the lungs. Blood will then move from the atria down into the ventricles below. So from the right atrium into the right ventricle, from the left atrium down into the left ventricle. And again, this will be happening simultaneously. I uh, mentioned that there are valves because circulation is one direction. So we have valves to prevent the backflow into the chambers or from the vessels. Okay. So as the blood moves from the right atrium into the right ventricle, it will pass through the first of the atrioventricular valves, AV valves, the tricuspid. And as blood moves from the left atrium into the left ventricle, it will pass through the other AV valve, the mitral or bicuspid valve, to fill up the left ventricle. Now, both our ventricles are full, they're going to contract and push the blood from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery and from the left ventricle into the aorta. And again, they're going to pass through a set of valves to prevent the backflow into the ventricles once they've entered their respective vessels. So from the right ventricle through the first of the semilunar valves, the pulmonary valve, because it's going into the pulmonary artery, and from the left ventricle through the aortic valve to enter the aorta. So blood from the right ventricle will then go towards the lungs. At the same time, the blood from the left ventricle is going to all of the other body tissues from the aorta. So four chambers, left and right atrium, left and right ventricle, four vessels, vena cava, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins, aorta, and four valves, the tricuspid, bicuspid, the pulmonary, and the aortic. So try one of the past paper questions, pause the video and come up with your answer. <coughs> so here you have a diagram of the heart and its associated blood vessels. And you've been asked to label the pulmonary artery with the letter P. Touching the screen, where exactly you would be placing the letter. Let's reveal. So as long as it's somewhere clearly within this vessel here, you would be awarded the mark. So let's see what the marking scheme said. So the label can be anywhere on the artery as long as it's above the semilunar valve. So it could be just above, in the middle, it could be just towards the end, as long as you're clearly identifying this vessel here. So you could be asked to label any of the features that we talked through 
or you might have it labeled, say, A, B, and C, and ask to identify structure C. Any questions, anything about the heart, please just let me know.